The horror genre has given us some spine-chilling experiences over the years. Whether you're a fan of atmospheric scares, psychological horror, or intense survival situations, there's something for everyone. So let's delve into the top 10 best horror games of all time. Starting with number 10, we have Until Dawn. Until Dawn is a survival horror game developed by Supermassive Games and published by Sony Computer Entertainment. Set in 1996, the game invites you to relive a nightmare on Blackwood Mountain. Eight young adults find themselves trapped in an isolated lodge where two of their friends vanished a year prior. The game combines unsettling horror with innovative gameplay ideas all wrapped up in stunning graphics. You control the fate of these characters through your choices and every decision can make the difference between life and death. The game immerses you in a gripping slasher horror. The beautifully detailed cabin, the surrounding area with its sanatorium and abandoned mineshaft, and the ever-present sense of being watched create a chilling environment. Your decisions can highly impact the story. Now, the original game has been rebuilt from the ground up using cutting-edge visual technology and will be released in 2024, hopefully. The nightmare comes to life with an immersive third-person camera and a brand new musical score. In summary, Until Dawn is a flawed but fun experience. While its unfocused story falls short of greatness, it's an entertaining homage to horror movie traditions. We should stay put right here until dawn. Jessica! And on number 9, we have The Evil Within 1 and 2. The original first game released in 2014 is a survival horror game created by mastermind Shinji Mikami. You can play as Detective Sebastian Castellanos, who investigates a gruesome murder case at a mental hospital. However, things take a nightmarish turn as he finds himself trapped in a twisted world of horror filled with grotesque creatures and mind-bending environments. The game masterfully blends psychological horror, visceral combat, and suspenseful exploration. It's a roller coaster ride through nightmarish landscapes and adrenaline pumping encounters. The Evil Within is often praised for its challenging gameplay, disturbing visuals, and intense atmosphere. It's a standout title in the survival horror genre. The Evil Within 2, released in 2017, continues the story of Sebastian Castellanos, where he descends once more into the nightmarish world of STEM to save his daughter Lily. So, whether you're exploring twisted dimensions, battling monstrosities, or uncovering dark secrets, both games promise spine-tingling encounters and unforgettable moments. Close your eyes to the truth. You want to stop me, but you have failed. I've got to find her before he does something terrible to her. <gasps> And on number 8, we have Amnesia Series. The first installment of the game was released in 2010. This game follows the story of Daniel, a man with almost no memory of himself or his past. He explores the darker areas of Brennenburg Castle, trying to maintain his sanity while surviving encounters with monsters and witnessing unsettling events. The game's frightening atmosphere and horror elements garnered global attention and won several awards. The second installment was released on 2013, which was indirect sequel to the first game. It features a new cast of characters in a different setting. Amnesia Rebirth was then released in 2020. It takes place in Algeria, North Africa, where players explore the same eerie locations previously visited by Daniel and Herbert. Amnesia The Bunker fourth installment released in 2023 is set in 1916 during World War I. Players follow the story of French soldier Henri Clément in a bunker along the Western Front. The Amnesia series thrusts players into a world of uncertainty, fear, and unimaginable horrors. Whether you're exploring haunted castles, eerie experiments, or mysterious bunkers, each installment promises spine-tingling encounters and masterful storytelling.
And on number seven, we have The Quarry. The Quarry is a 2022 interactive drama horror game developed by Supermassive Games and published by 2K. Players assume control of nine teenage counselors who must survive their last night at Hackett's Quarry summer camp amidst supernatural creatures and violent locals. The game is envisioned as the spiritual successor to Until Dawn and draws inspiration from teen slasher and monster films like Friday the 13th and The Thing. Played from a third person perspective, you control each of the nine counselors throughout the roughly 10 hour campaign. Your choices significantly affect character development relationships, the plot and the ending. All nine playable characters may survive or die depending on your decisions. Due to the game's branching storyline, it boasts an impressive 186 different endings. Influenced by player choices, quick time events, and vigilance in finding evidence and clues. If you're ready for a night of unpredictable horror, venture into the quarry and see which choices lead to survival or demise. I mean, think about it. It's camp is over and hunting season has just begun. I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. That was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Brian. The hag of Hackett's quarry. <sighs> did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Should we look? Mm-hmm. Ah! Yeah. Maybe it was the bears. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies? Aliens, time hopping Draculas. Uh, Ryan? Hey! Run! Can you be ready to happen, please? We ain't playing games no more, little girl. There's something, there's something coming! One. Ah! Silent. Two. Lost. Max. We're lost. Three. Terrified kids are bad for business. You have to cut it off! Cut it off! Cut it off! And on number six, we have Alone in the Dark series. The Alone in the Dark franchise is a survival horror video game series originally developed by Infograms. In most of the games, the player controls private investigator Edward Carnby, who goes to investigate haunted houses or towns that are full of undead creatures. The series, particularly for its debut game, is widely acknowledged as an early instance of survival horror video games and is often credited with the creation of the genre. Seven installments of the series have been created, each with various themes and locations. The first game of the series was released in 1992. Guinness World Records awarded it the record of first ever 3D survival horror game in the Guinness World Records Gamers Edition 2008 edition. The latest release is Alone in the Dark 2024, which continues the legacy of supernatural threats and investigations. Whether you're exploring haunted mansions, occultist pirates, or otherworldly mysteries, the Alone in the Dark series promises spine-tingling encounters and gripping narratives. <laughs> My God! Don't leave me alone. There must be something I can work with. Come on, Carnby, think. Not everyone needs to be saved, Mr. Carnby. You should know that by now. I did everything you wanted. What else can I do? Today, the American Expeditionary Forces face considerable John. losses in France. I think I've lost my head. The brave men. Oh, John. I am sorry. I can't do this. What's the matter, Emily? Lies. More lies. Free! And on number five, we have Silent Hill series. This franchise is a horror anthology centered on a series of survival horror games created by Keiichiro Toyama and published by Konami. The games are heavily influenced by psychological horror. The series takes place in the fictional American town of Silent Hill, known for its eerie atmosphere, fog-shrouded streets, and nightmarish creatures. The first installment follows Harry Mason as he searches for his missing adopted daughter in the mysterious town of Silent Hill. He stumbles upon a cult conducting a ritual to revive a deity they worship, uncovering dark secrets along the way. The sequel introduces James Sunderland, who receives a letter from his deceased wife, drawing him back to Silent Hill. The third game follows Heather Mason, who discovers her connection to the town's dark past. And in the fourth game, players control Henry Townshend trapped in his apartment as he uncovers supernatural horrors and a mysterious portal. So whether you're exploring the foggy streets of Silent Hill or facing the horrifying creatures, the series promises spine-tingling encounters and psychological twists. I'll be good, I promise. Tell him I'll be good, please. No, please. 
Next on number four, we got Little Nightmares 1 and 2. In the original Little Nightmares, you'll help a character named Six escape from the Maw, a vast and mysterious vessel inhabited by corrupted souls who are always hungry for their next meal. The game's unsettling atmosphere, twisted areas, and wicked souls make it a must-play title. In the second game, you'll join Mono and Six, as they explore the dark secrets of the Signal Tower and encounter the terrible residents of this eerie world. The game continues the spine-chilling adventure with its unique aesthetic and outstanding sound design. From the eerie maw to the haunting pale city, you'll need to outsmart the residents' untangled puzzles and stay out of harm's way. Hide, sneak, and use nearby tools to fend off your tormentors. The soundtrack ranges from quiet ambient pieces to chaotic and nightmarish compositions, enhancing the surreal experience. So, immerse yourself in detailed landscapes, disturbingly familiar places, and beautifully rendered scenery of little nightmares. Its third installment will be soon released, hopefully in 2024. And on number three, we have Fetal Frame Project Zero, Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. This game was originally released in Japan in 2008, and it is the fourth installment in the Fatal Frame Project Zero series. The game is remastered in 2023. Players use a special camera called the Camera Obscura to capture hostile ghosts and unravel a haunting mystery. The game takes place in various environments, including traditional Japanese houses and a sanatorium turned hotel. Following the successful remastering of Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater, this game has been brought back to life with upgraded graphics. The series' masterpiece returns with better visuals, allowing players to immerse themselves in its chilling atmosphere once again. The costumes and accessories add a unique touch to your gameplay experience. Whether you're a seasoned fan of the Fatal Frame series or a newcomer seeking spine-chilling encounters, Mask of the Lunar Eclipse promises a haunting journey through the supernatural. <laughs> And on number two, we have Outlast series. Developed by Red Barrels, the Outlast series is a collection of first-person survival horror video games. Each game places players in intense and terrifying situations, emphasizing survival and exploration. Players take on the role of protagonists who must survive while being pursued by enemies. Armed only with a camcorder, they explore dimly lit environments, uncovering the source of the madness around them. The games delve into psychological horror, supernatural elements, and gruesome scenarios. The settings vary, but they all share a sense of dread and vulnerability. The original game follows investigative journalist Miles Upshur as he explores the abandoned Mount Massive Asylum. The asylum is home to horrifying experiments and malevolent forces. Outlast 2 introduces a new protagonist, Blake Langerman, who investigates a cult in the Arizona desert. The game features disturbing religious themes and nightmarish sequences. In summary, the Outlast series has left a lasting impact on the horror gaming genre, thanks to its intense atmosphere, jump scares, and unsettling narratives. He's looking down in love. So be careful, little mouth. You say... Hey, the outsider! Finally, on number one, we have Resident Evil Biohazard. It is a 2017 survival horror game developed and published by Capcom. The game emphasizes exploration and returns to the franchise's survival horror roots, diverging from the more action-oriented gameplay of Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6. The game wisely remembers that it's a survival horror adventure, emphasizing tense exploration and careful item hunting. The eerie Dolby Plantation setting reminiscent of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre creates a strong sense of place. While the puzzles are disappointingly rare and too simple, the overall atmosphere is the strongest the series has seen in a long time. In this game, players control Ethan Winters, 
as he searches for his long missing wife in a derelict plantation occupied by an infected family. The story unfolds as Ethan explores the Baker family's abandoned rural estate in Dulvey, Louisiana, encountering puzzles enemies in eerie environments. The game's atmosphere is intense, and the first-person perspective immerses players in the terrifying experience. If you enjoy horror games with strong storytelling elements, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard is definitely worth checking out. And there you have it, our top 10 picks for the best horror games that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Whether you're a seasoned horror aficionado or new to the genre, these games promise to deliver spine-tingling thrills and heart-pounding scares. Don't forget to let us know in the comments which game scared you the most or if there's a hidden gem we missed. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit that bell icon to stay updated with our latest releases. This house has seen more than you can imagine, and it knows. Don't lose it. It's important.